Hello you guys. So we are in 1979 Chris Memorial round 16. And this brutal sacrificial game was played by magician from Riga Mikhail Tal and very strong Finnish grandmaster Yurige Rentanen. And this game is called Rentanen Raving. So I hope you guys will learn many things from this game. So let's start the journey. Mikhail Tal has the white pieces and he opens the game with e4 the king's pawn opening and Rentanen replied with c5 the system defense. And a very standard knight to f3 and knight to c6 so fighting for the d4 square and here Mikhail Tal played bishop to b5. And this is called Najmadino Rastolimo variation. Here most popular moves for black are e6 or go for the fiend shadow with g6. And Rantanen chooses e6. Here black don't care about ruining its pawn structure because after d5 this c6 pawn is actually providing a support in the center. So here Mikhail Tal castles and black plays knight g to e7 so if this time bishop takes knight happen he will take with the knight so not ruining his pawn structure. Here Tal develops with knight to c3 and black challenges the white bishop with a6. You can't move the bishop back because of a simple move b5 and you have to face the black storm on the queen side. So that's why Tal plays bishop takes knight and knight takes bishop. And here Tal plays d4 to go for the open position so he can have more attacking chances. So we have trades in the center and black plays d6. Here white plays rook to e1 the multi-purpose move. First is support the pawn so knight can move freely and secondly you can shift the rook to the king side faster. So let's see how the game goes from here. Bishop d7 is the move played by black and Tal just traded the knight and the whole point of playing bishop to d7 was like he will take back with the bishop but now b takes c6. And here Tal chooses how to maneuver the queen on the king side by playing queen to g4, e5 and then queen to g3. And here black plays f6. The purpose of f6 is not to support the center but to manually castle the king. So Tal plays the developing move bishop to e3 and black sticks is his plan and plays king to f7. Looks like you guys want to see the Tal sacrifice but just wait for it, it's coming sooner. Here Tal plays rook to d1 so pressing the d6 pawn and black plays bishop to e7 so manually castling the king. Here Tal goes for knight to a4 to have some fork down but black stops it with rook to b8. And now b3 solidifying the pieces here. Black plays rook to e8 for man castling and white plays c4 for so controlling d5 square. Now black chooses a daring and right decision of playing c5 because white was also threatening to play c5 which was bad for black. But with c5 now white knight has a free square on d5. So naturally knight to c3 by tall and here black plays bishop to f8 so keeping an eye on bishop to s6 trickery. So now Tal plays f4 aiming to open up the position and black plays king to g8 and now rook to f1 so shifting the pieces on the king side. Here black played queen to c8 so making queen and bishop battery and here Tal makes a right decision of playing f takes e4. Black also takes back with f pawn. And Tal plants a knight on d5. Here bishop to s6 and rook takes f8 trickery is in the air so here black plays king to h8. And here Tal immediately jumps in with rook to f7 and here black plays bishop to g4. Here Tal rook is under attack but will you care if you're Mikhail Tal? No right just knight to f6 and sacrificing two pieces at the same time. Taking the rook is going to give you losing position immediately after queen to a4. And the only move for black to survive is to play h5 and here white must not take the pawn here because queen is coming and you have to trade it. It is actually to play queen to g5 and even if you play rook to b7 you will sacrifice rook by playing queen to g6 and here queen to s7 is a checkmate. So here Rantanen was almost forced to take the knight here but queen to h4 anyway. So the only move for not getting checkmated by black is to play bishop to g7. But bishop to h6 by Tal and here black should play rook to g8 to defend the position like this. But black took the rook with the bishop and allows a very brutal sacrifice after bishop takes bishop and king to g8. So this is for you guys, kind of finish this game by playing a brutal sacrifice which Mikhail Tal played. 
So here Mikal Tal plays bishop to h8 so sacrificing again two pieces at the same time. And bad news for black is you can't take any of the pieces here because if you take the bishop queen take h7 is a checkmate and if you take the rook which happens in the game you will see the checkmate like this. So this was the analysis of this marvelous game. If you like the video, do like the video and subscribe the channel so we can reach 1k subscribers. So have an excellent hand and see you soon all.